Are you ready for today's story? <laughs> Let's go! My bedtime stories. <laughs> Read with me as we make the world more magical one story at a time. My Way to Good Manners Written by Elizabeth Cole Illustrated by Tatiana Kim Most of the time, Melissa is a very good child. She's sweet and cheerful and has a warm smile. But sometimes, her good manners take flight. And instead, her behavior becomes impolite. She loves doing a handstand or a cartwheel, but she doesn't wash her hands before a meal. She likes eating salad with a sprinkle of lime, but she eats with her mouth open every time. Melissa loves to play with her hippo and her fox, but she refuses to put them both back in the box. And when her mom buys a hairband colored red, Melissa doesn't say thank you, but grabs it instead. At school, she's impatient to say what's on her mind. She interrupts her friends, and that's not very kind. She doesn't share her crayons even though she could. This behavior makes her friends feel not very good. She doesn't realize she's making others mad. Until, one day, she felt lonely, rejected, and sad. Melissa's classmates didn't invite her to fly a kite. Frowning, they said, Your manners just aren't right. So, when Melissa got home, she sulked around. She couldn't forget what happened at the playground. With shiny tears in her eyes, she was as sad as can be. She complained to her mom, No one will play with me. Melissa's mom wiped away her daughter's tears. Maybe you should get some manners, my dear. Your friends may be hurt by your bad attitude. They won't play with you if you act so rude. If you put yourself in their shoes, you will see that a rude person is not who you want to be. Show respect, care, and appreciation too. Treat others as you want them to treat you. Melissa wanted to follow her mom's good advice, but she didn't quite know how to behave nice. So, her mom suggested they make a good manners list and write down the rules so they wouldn't be missed. Melissa stuffed the list into her skirt pocket, then she raced to the zoo as fast as a rocket. But there was a long lineup outside the zoo. She sighed, and wondered what she should do. Mom said not to cut the line. Look at the list instead. Oh, I should try to be patient, little Melissa said. She waited and waited and surprisingly felt fine. She even let a mom and baby go ahead of her in line. They reached the zoo cashier after a long while. Melissa appeared at her manners list and put on a smile. Very politely, little Melissa said with some ease, May I have tickets for me and my mom, please? When Melissa got tickets, she didn't know what to do. So, she checked the list and politely said, Thank you! She was very happy and excited to get into the zoo. She got to see a roaring lion and a clumsy kangaroo. Melissa helped the zookeeper when he accidentally fell. She gave her helping hand and showed she cared as well. But when the monkey started making fun of her every move, Melissa said, Mocking is something my list doesn't approve. Melissa cared as well when she heard a whining sound. A little boy had dropped his ice cream on the ground. She patted him and assured him, Everything will be fine. Please don't cry. I also have a treat! You can have mine! The little boy was grateful that she wanted to share. In return, 
he let Melissa play with his teddy bear. Melissa was amazed and delighted as could be. If I am nice to others, others will be nice to me. On their way home, Melissa saw a girl playing by a tree. She told her, I love your dress. It looks very pretty. Melissa was overjoyed when the girl gave her a smile. Good manners are so cool and can be part of my style. With them, life seems more beautiful than ever. So, I'll be polite and use good manners forever. When Melissa got home, she grabbed a broom and made her mom happy by cleaning her room. At dinner, she placed her napkin across her knees. She also learned to say, Could you pass the salt, please? And when she accidentally spilled the tea from her cup, she apologized and said, I'm sorry, I will clean it up. One day, Melissa left her manners list on the bed. But at school, Good morning, everyone, she said. And after class, Melissa knew exactly what to say. Bye, see you tomorrow. Then she added a wave. At home, her mother was rocking the baby on her lap. Melissa didn't shout while her brother was taking a nap. Instead, Melissa showed she could be gentle and polite. She kissed his tiny nose and said, Love you, sleep tight. Melissa brushed her teeth without mom telling her to. She was happy to hear, Honey, I'm so proud of you. When she got into bed, her list slipped to the floor. Melissa just left it there. She didn't need it anymore. Thank you so much for staying and reading with me until the end. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and share it with your friends so we can all read along together. See you on our next one! Bye!